Brewing Feed is here in Cleveland, Ohio. We're gonna go to the West Side Market to pick up some food to cook, and we're gonna visit a couple breweries in the area. Brew strong and feed well. All right, I just left the West Side Market. I got some shrimp. I got some uh, Hungarian uh, sausage peppers. And I got uh, some Smokies. My wife wants Smokies. And uh, I'm gonna take those back to North Carolina. And I got some potatoes, which I'm probably not gonna cook. I forgot I had some rice at home. So I'm gonna make these jumbo shrimp with rice. And um, I don't know, I bought something else too. But uh, anyway, that's what I got. And that's what we're gonna roll with. Brew strong and feed well. All right, I'm here at Great Lakes Brewing Company. It's right across the street from the West Side Market. And whenever I'm there, I hit up uh, Great Lakes. I try to hit up Great Lakes and or the, the um, Market Garden Brewery. So I'm gonna come here, have you a short pour. I may have a short pour over there and then uh, call it a night and then go back home and cook and to relax. I just left Great Lakes. Cool place. I was gonna sit in the basement because last time I was here I sat upstairs, but the basement was packed. People are in the holiday spirit right now here in Cleveland, Ohio. It's nice and warm out. I think it's like 45 degrees. It's uh, it's 54 degrees here in Cleveland in, in, in December, which uh, is like 80 degrees here. Uh, so that's why everybody's having so much fun out here. So I'm gonna go over to Market Garden, have a half pour, and then uh, we we'll can hook up this uh, hook up this shrimp. Just left uh, Market Garden Brewery, had a half pour of their airing of grievances, uh, red rye IPA, delicious. Now, maybe back to the house, maybe to another brewery, don't know yet. <laughs> Let's see. I'm here at Brick and Barrel. I'm gonna go check them out. Love this place. Uh, real craft brewery. 
old school style. Bitter Chief is my favorite beer that they make. I'm gonna see if they got a holiday beer on tap. Um, and then I'm gonna bounce and I'm, I'm gonna eventually finally cook this uh, shrimp that I got. So let's go check them out. Right, I just left Brick and Barrel, cool brewery. It is the most craft craft brewery that I visit anywhere in the country. Um, had a wee heavy on um, on a beer engine. They had three beers on their beer engine, which you never see anymore, and you almost never see a brewery that makes a wee heavy anymore. So that was that was a nice treat. And uh, while we're, while I was in there, the seagulls were were going crazy because there was a big. Uh, huge ship one of those container ships that roll through here uh, that's like a mile long that stirred up the, uh, the seagulls and they went crazy so that was a good treat and there was so much of a treat I'm going to drop a nice um, artsy video expose of it right here right now enjoy in stormy squalls or under the sun's embrace seagulls in body the seafarer's grace. Aerial acrobats with freedom they flirt. Circling realms where the horizon skirts. O oh, seagulls, ambassadors of the brine. Your wings weave stories eternally entwined. Okay, I'm back in the kitchen. I got all my ingredients here on the table. I just wanted to do something really quick because I'm getting up to drive and get out of here first thing in the morning and I don't want any leftovers. Um, so we got we got our jumbo shrimp, we got our potatoes, and we got avocado because I forgot to get some vegetables so we're going to do avocado. I'm going to serve the uh, shrimp over a bed of lettuce because I got some leftover lettuce. Um, I got these hot Hungarian peppers stuffed with sausage that I saw. So I'm going to hook these up, throw these in the oven. The shrimp, I'm going to season with this Cajun seasoning that we used to sell. We may start selling it again next year. It wasn't one of our best sellers, but it's a great spice blend. It's called Cajun Sensation. We may even rename it too. So, But yeah, the, so the, the, the shrimp is going to be seasoned with this Cajun spice blend and the potatoes are going to be seasoned with our roasted garlic, uh, our roasted garlic pepper, which you can find on our website right now. And then I'm going to pair it all with our Freestyle L Belgian White Ale. This uh, beer has coriander and orange peel in it. I designed this beer so that it pairs with everything. It's a, it's a Belgian White Ale, but it's not made with any wheat. I wanted it to be crisp and clean and very light so that you can pair with anything. Basically universal pairing with any, any dish. So that's what we're gonna pair with, our Freestyle L. So let's, uh, let's get into this and uh, see how we, uh, see if we know how to feed well.
I'm here on the shores of Lake Erie in Cleveland, Ohio to check out the brewing feed scene. We're gonna go over here to the West Side Market, grab something to eat, something to cook. Uh, uh.